Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and this week I'm making a cake inspired by Rarity from My Little Pony. I think I should have just said, Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and. <laughs> cake, Rarity, you get it. Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> to make this cake, I baked eight pounds of my ultimate vanilla cake, dyed teal, pink, and purple. I've removed the cakes from their pans, leveled them, and removed the caramelization from the bottom and the sides. Looking at my three layers before simple syruping, I realized I wanted another layer. So thank goodness there was a funfetti layer of cake available in my fridge. Sir Squeeze is next. Well, since his makeover, Sir Squeeze got a girlfriend and she is hot, hot pink. She's collapsible. You know what that means, don't you? No, I don't. I don't either. Just. <laughs> Sir Squeeze and his girlfriend, Funnel, I've been told that's her name, are available in a deluxe bundle right now at howtocakeit.com. I'm going to fill these layers with, guess what? Italian meringue buttercream. And once I'm happy, I give the outside a good crumb coat and chill. Even though Rarity is white on the outside, I think she's full of color on the inside. That's why I made this cake so colorful. So if you agree that cake is magic, please share this video with everyone else that agrees with you. There's a button below. Is, is, do you think her name is Rarity because she's rare? I'm not, I'm actually not gonna get into it with the My Little Pony fans. Cause last time, Jeremy, you weren't here, but I got slaughtered because I called, uh, Rainbow Dash's cutie mark, a butt tattoo. So slaughtered with comments. Now it's time to ice this cake one more time and chill it. I am going to use a combination of a bench scraper and a spatula because I want it to be nice and straight even though I'm covering it with fondant. Orhan, please insert dancing My Little Ponies. Don't forget guys, for every cake I make here on How To Cake It, I make a blog post at howtocakeit.com and there are all the recipes included that you will need if you wanna make this cake. I'll put a link in the description below. And while you're there, you can check out the Cake Is Magic sale that we're having. You get a unicorn bundle and you get a unicorn bundle and you get a unicorn bundle. I have unicorn bundles. Yes, I know. <laughs> You have lots of bundles that involve unicorns. While my cake is chilling, I'm gonna take this opportunity. I said opportunity already. You're taking a lot of opportunities. I am taking a lot of opportunities. I'm gonna take this opportunity to make my rarity horn and ears. I am using some white fondant that I'm just gonna strengthen with a little bit of CMC. So I just knead that in. And then for the horn, what I wanna do is roll a long sort of cord of fondant and I want it to taper off at one end. So to be thinner at one end and a bit thicker at the other. And then I'm gonna brush a lollipop stick with a little bit of clear piping gel. Now I need to wrap that cord of fondant around the lollipop stick and I want the thinnest part to be the tip of the horn at the top of the stick. And then I need to pick pick up that cord and literally wrap it around the stick. Jeremy's daughter was kind enough to lend me part of her collection of My Little Ponies. Rarity's horn is not quite unicorn-like, it's very unique. I think that's why she's called Rarity. It doesn't have as many, what would it, you know. <laughs> Coils. Coils. I should know that word, I feel. Is this the episode where we were eating seaweed crackers, Jeremy, and there was one attached to the back of my head? Yeah. yeah. There was a seaweed crack, yeah. How, I just want to know how it ended up in your ponytail. It's so light, I feel like I, I don't, I have no idea. <laughs> like how did it get to the don't back know. of your my, I swear my hair has hands. It's like <laughs> <laughs> So I wanted to make sure to have the same number of coils on my cake as there is on Rarity. Or at least on a Rarity doll, I should say. So I didn't want to dry the horn laying down because that means part of it would flatten. So what I did is I took the exposed portion of the lollipop stick and inserted it down into a cake dummy so that the horn could dry upright. Now I need to move on to making her ears, which are quite, She's always listening, that's for sure. <laughs> to make her ears, I rolled out some more of that white fondant that I had with CMC mixed into it. And then I cut out like an eye shape. You know. Oh, an I. Yeah. I thought you meant the letter. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 hmm. 
Yeah, that would really help. Those would be very interesting. Pointy ears, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. And then what I did is I trimmed off one of the pointy ends of the eye and just pinched that together with a lollipop stick down the center. So I want that stick for support, but I need the ears to look like they curve in a little, if you know what I mean. And then I stuck them into the same cake dummy that was holding up the horn to allow them to dry upright as well. Now it's time to cover the whole cake. For this, I'm using white fondant. Once my fondant is rolled out, I pick it up with a French rolling pin and drape it over the cake. That was, that was a good, dramatic. yeah. Dramatic. That was like a... I don't actually flick it, <laughs> but it should be a quick sort of motion. Don't forget, yo. What? There's footage. There is footage. <laughs> what do you think Jeremy's doing here? Now I need to smooth the fondant onto the cake. This can be quite tricky when you're working with cakes that are on the tall side, and that's because the top edge is sort of really volatile. There's a lot of weight, and the fondant is pulling itself down. So what you want to do as fast as possible is really work on that top edge. Smooth your fondant along the top, and then really work on making sure the fondant is secure along that top edge before anything has a chance to rip off. And I basically just work the fondant. Oh, this is hard to do. Yeah, work the, um, without a cake, I was like, what did I do? Oh, yeah. It's kind of like the pat your head. Can you do the pat your head, rub your stomach? Okay, hold on. Oh man, that's hard. It's change. You're oh, that's hard. <laughs> If you do have a little bit of tearing at the top edge of your cake, don't worry. This is really easy to take care of, especially when your cake is white, because you can use royal icing. You don't have to make a fondant paste. Use a little bit of royal icing to touch up the small tears at the top edge of my cake. Now, I can't have a crack in Rarity. No. I will be slaughtered. Sure. I haven't met Rarity in real life. I think I've been ousted because of my cutie mark remark. <laughs> my, my butt touch. That's yeah, my people called her people. They were like, no. I need to make Rarity's cute little face. So I made a template. Yeah. Yeah. Roll How it, did you know I used a template? <laughs> you making assumptions, Jocelyn? Guess what I didn't use on this cake, Jocelyn? Ivory. Wait till next week, though. <laughs> Ivory will be back. Rolled out all the appropriate colors in fondant, and then cut up my template and used those pieces to cut all of the parts of her eye out of my fondant as well as her mouth. Then I glued all of those pieces together to make the eye and her little inside of her mouth and her little tongue. She's very wide-eyed. She's much cuter than what I just did. <laughs> to outline her eyes and her mouth, I used my clay extruder. I made a few gray cords and a few black cords and then glued them around the eye and created her lashes. I actually used my template again for her lashes, Jocelyn, because templates are helpful. <laughs> so I formed her lashes on top of the template and cut them the right way and then added them to the cake. And her mouth was outlined with gray fondant. I am now done with Rarity's face. Yolanda Kaz. <laughs> Was that you quoting yourself? Yes. Yeah? Well, I think the point of the quote is that it's sort of helpful and wise and insightful. Moment. Well, I think that's helpful and wise. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm running a whole Yo Quotes contest on my Instagram. We'll put the handle here, right, Jocelyn? Or yep. yep. Just put it's it right there. Right now. It's happening right now. And you can play along and win a copy of my upcoming cake book. And my cake book is now available for pre-order internationally. <laughs> Orhan, can you have a bunch of international flags just coming out of my mouth? <laughs> internationally. <laughs> put the turkey flag in there, Orhan. Do it. Orhan, put the Grenada flag in there too.
My mother will ask me. It is time to make Rarity's hair. I was really nervous about this because I wanted it to be really animated and cartoony and her hair is purple. I love purple. So what I did is I took some purple fondant and rolled it out long enough and then I used a bone tool to mark some lines in it because she is an animation so you do see sort of lines in her hair. You don't see a ton of strands. How many pictures of Rarity did we look at, Jeremy? Oh, a lot. A ton. <laughs> a lot. Jeremy's computer history is now Rarity, maraschino cherries, strawberry ovaries, yeah. It's interesting history. Now I need to pick up this hair piece of hair. It's a hair piece. This hair piece I created and put it on one side of her face and it comes down into her face like this. But it's quite a heavy piece of fondant. So once I get it into place, which I magically do in one shot, I need to use some little lollipop sticks to help it stay in place until it sets. Once I chill it, I'll be able to let that fondant set and remove those sticks afterward. If you were making this cake for someone else, I wouldn't remove them till the last minute. Now I need to do the other side of her hair, which took me two tries. Because I used the same technique, I rolled it out, I made the lines, um, but it was a little too long the first time. So by the time I got it on the cake, I had played with it a little too much and I could see some cracking in my fondant that I wasn't happy with. So I just decided to rip it off and try again. So this side of Rarity's hair is a bit longer. It comes down to the top of the pedestal that she's on. But I did once again use lollipop sticks to help support the hair. Now I would like to add Rarity's horn and her ears. So <laughs> I added her horn at the top center of the cake, making sure it was centered between her eyes. And then I added her ears. Now this was a bit trickier because on one side of her head, her hair comes to the front. So when I put her ear in, it looked like one ear was taller than the other ear, right? So what I had to do was trim that ear and place it in through the hair so that when I looked at the cake, the ears were the same height. Now I wanna add a few more strands of hair just in front and behind that ear that rests on the hair. So I rolled out my remaining purple fondant into two smaller bands and placed one in front of the ear and one behind it. And it also came down in a little curl at the bottom. Rarity is my VIP My Little Pony today. I chose Rarity to cake. I know some of you watching are How to Cake It VIPs. The How to Cake It VIPs get an exclusive video sent to them every Monday night with a first look at that week's cake plus some behind the scenes footage. We set up a whole secret YouTube channel just for you VIPs so you can watch these videos. If you want to be a How to Cake It VIP, sign up at howtocakeit.com. It's time for the cutie mark. <laughs> Cause I know what it's called now. I couldn't even make that mistake this time because this cake doesn't have a butt. I used a mold in the shape of a diamond and some fondant with CMC that I had dyed to the right color. And then I just press it into the cavity of the mold and pop it out. To add a little more detail to my diamonds, I just took the tip of my paring knife and made some indents. Because Rarity's diamonds in her cutie mark have indents that go along the side. And once that has dried just a little bit, I then brushed it with a little bit of luster dust just to give it a little bit of mm. I made quite a few of them because at first I wasn't sure if I was going to do like a band of cutie marks around the bottom, like a pattern. But after she was done, she was just so beautiful. I didn't think she needed all that. So I decided on a cheek tattoo. I mean, a cutie mark on her cheek. <laughs> I decided to do something I used to do to wedding cakes all the time. I could have like piped a border, but I felt that would be too heavy. So I happened to have a really nice grow grain ribbon in the appropriate color. And I just wrapped that around the base. That's what I used to do to my, my Little Ponies. I used to tie their hair with ribbons. <laughs> Once again, if you are a My Little Pony fan and you agree that cake is magic, please share this video. We really appreciate it.
if you want to see more character cakes, including my original My Little Pony cake, Rainbow Dash, there's a playlist right here. And don't forget, guys, please subscribe. Please share this video. There's a button below. Which side of me is it on? Uh, all Some. Of them. Just keep doing that. Yeah. Here. <laughs> the button.